last year with the TR7, we made some pretty major um, outline changes, and uh, this proved to uh, give us a good effect. Um, you know, increase the range of the sails, and um, you know, luff lengths got shorter, cord lengths got wider. Um, so this year for the TR8, it's been uh, really good to get the opportunity to go through um, all the sails with the what we've learned from the past season of racing, and um, further refine them in uh, the way that in the profile dis shape distribution and also in the way they twist um, to make like the next big step in, uh, in range and efficiency of the sails. So uh, in order to improve the uh, release in the upper leech of the sail we um, found we needed to stiffen the patch reinforcements uh, in the upper left sleeve um, and this allowed us to uh, flatten that area and get a um, a very progressive uh, leech twist which extends right to the head of the sail. So like if you, when the sail is correctly rigged, you, you look down the leech or if when you're on the water, it's just a, a nice straight even pro progressive twisting and that, uh, and that responds very well in the wind. Um, we found that there was a, a, a nice balance between having um, enough leech tension to give you optimum um, low, at, low and mid range uh, power and efficiency, um, but also enough looseness that it releases excessive wind when you're overpowered and you know really really wound up, like such as PWA racing conditions usually are in the gusts. So the, there's a fine line. You can uh, make it too open and lose some low end power, or you make it too tight and then it feels heavy on the high end. So we aim for that perfect balance where it feels light in the hands, even when you're really overpowered but still has just enough tension to give you that optimum power and efficiency in the low and mid range as well. So we did increase the um, cam pressure and the amount of shape in the lower body of the sail um, for TR8 and this has basically just given us a more stable profile so you know through variable wind conditions and strong gusts your, your draft position stays nice and locked and balanced and just make the sail very stable. And uh, the cam rotation, you know, we made sure that we have really easy cam rotation despite having more pressure on the cams. Um, you know, just the perfect combination of the right amount of sleeve tension and a, a nice snug sleeve fit, but enough slack in there to um, facilitate the rotation. Um, so you'll find they're um, going around the marks, getting out of the jibes. You won't have any hang-ups waiting for your cams to come around. It's all, everything's fluid and smooth. So as has always been important, you know, the, the nice handling features of the TR sales. So that continues uh, this year. And uh, as we go through the entire uh, sail range from 4.7 all the way up to 12 meter, um, we pay careful attention to the overall rig tension. We actually use a, a strain gauge to measure the, uh, the tension at the downhaul pulley uh, for all the sizes. So. Um, so when we're uh, refining the profiles and the luff curves and the shaping, we pay really careful attention to not only the feel that you get on the water, um, but also relating that to actual, you know, um, quantitative uh, data that we receive from the measurements. Um, so as we as we go through the size range, um, we found that uh, some of our larger sizes. Um, needed a little bit more tension, especially talking about formula sizes and um, maybe some of the larger slalom sizes. So we added, um, in adding uh, additional profile shape to the bottom of the sails, we also added overall tension uh, proportionally more in the larger slalom and formula sizes to give them the sufficient uh, stability that is required to support such a large surface area sail. Um, so yeah, if you end up trying an 8.4, 9.2 or a formula sale, you'll, you'll be very happy this year.